Royal Kinetics of Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Infinity. It is a 2017 QX30. It's a two liter turbo, front wheel drive. Has 40,763 actual miles. It was a uh, lease return to Infinity. Purchased it up in Phoenix. Brought it home, drove it myself. I actually put about, uh, gosh, about 500 miles on this car. It's been kind of my driver um, recently. Um, beautiful car. Um, I made a video for it a little while ago and it was all jacked up because I didn't really realize that it still had bumper to bumper warranty left on it and because of that we didn't fix the tear in the uh, panorama sunroof so we went warranty over to infinity uh, here in, at the auto mall and uh, they repaired that it is under bumper to bumper warranty and now I can do a proper video so um, my personal driver for the last 500 miles, great. Bumper to bumper expires 219 of 21 or 60,000 miles. Powertrain expires 219 of 23 or 70,000 miles. So you got a lot of powertrain left and you got about five months of uh, bumper to bumper left. Um, let's see. Uh, do, do, do. What do we do to it? We put new batteries in the remotes, detailed it, and we did the uh, new. Uh, panorama shade under warranty it was an infinity lease return i'm going to walk around this car i'll point at stuff i see cosmetically there's not much other than high speed rock chips uh generally these kind of lease returns are salesman's cars um so they're highway miles so you're going to get little rock chips on the front if you were patient you get a little touch up it's called liquid copper is this color by the way very unusual i like it because you can find it <laughs> i mean it's no doubt your car when you find it you know what i mean uh, anyway, uh, my brother's already taken a 40 or 50 HD pictures. Uh, I'm going to walk through this thing. I'm going to open up the lift gate here and I'll show you all the paperwork we have on it. Uh, so you can see what's going on here. First of all, here's the actual window sticker for it. Okay. There's your VIN. They sold it originally for 39020 plus they bump it up a little bit. They probably sold this thing for about 41 or 42. Um, anyway, there's the stuff it has. That's pretty much average stuff, the normal stuff. And then they have this, the navigation pa package, blah, blah, blah. That stuff, right? There's your first aid kit, which, what do they get for a first aid kit in this thing? I just saw first aid, 170 bucks. Wow, that's pretty aggressive. Um, I don't know about that pricing. All right, so here we were yesterday, 923.20. There's the miles at Infinity of Tucson, getting a, a sunroof shade panel, they call it. Failing on the track, blah, blah, blah. Warranty, they replaced the whole thing, okay? Here's the uh, Kelly Blue Book, 40,763. Mileage, uh, typical listing price would be 23,155, okay? Here's the uh, Carfax, or here's the... Uh, this is the warranty check on it. In service date was 219 uh, with 40,193 right now when we bought it actually. Uh, I actually put 500 miles on top of it. So it's five months, 29 months. That's a uh, basic and drivetrain, those two. That's how much is left, okay? All right, here's the Carfax itself. Has an accident reported 12, 18 of 17. It says something about side swipe. We don't see any damage at all. And I'm going to show you why I don't think any happened to it. He probably got too close to somebody who ran them into the wash and got a ticket. That's probably what happened. Um, no major title problems. Let's see. I learned how to read these after a while. So it was born in Texas. Ba -ba -ba, infinity of Scottsdale, Texas. Da -da -da -da. So 1218, vehicle functional, damage to right side. We don't see any paintwork or anything. Um, and then, so it's 1218, 17, it's getting an oil change. <laughs> so if there was something wrong, it would have taken a little longer than three days, right? So I would say that a cop wrote up an accident report and that's uh, probably ran him off the road or something. He fired this guy up. All right. They've done this now for 20 years. Yeah. Millions of us are satisfied customers. Even if you pick the wrong color, they'll remake your... That's nice. 
All right, let's see. Menu. Ba, ba, ba. I wonder if I can get this thing. There we go. All right, so you got that. Range. Time. You can reset the... Actually, that's how many miles I put on it. 501 miles since I bought it in Phoenix a couple weeks ago. Uh, let's see. D, D, D. There's that. Then you go to navigation, heading north, audio. You have graphics you can do. It's that little weird thing. I don't know what the point of that is, but for some people, I guess it's cool. All right. And then we go navigation, audio, drive assist, service. So you can go to the tire pressures. Okay. Right. Ba, ba, ba. Settings, light cluster, all that stuff, right? All right, let me go into the hood real quick before I get carried away with that. Start playing with gadgets for the next hour and a half. Let's see, I forget. There it is. That's the hood release. Ah, the one handed hood release. There you go. All right, it's got a hood prop right there, but I'll just hold it up by hand. There's your VIN on that fender. So you know that's an original fender. And then on the hood, VIN on that fender, okay? Which means that nothing happened to this fender, okay? And it's pretty obvious nothing happened to the doors, the mirror. I would say that somebody just got real close to somebody, threw them in a ditch, and the cop wrote a ticket. There's nothing going on with this car. Oh, you gotta have the doors. This is, oh, I know. There's your seat forward. I'm using these controls here. Back, up, down, seat back, boom. Then you got the headrest. I think you got the headrest, right? I forget how this thing works. I don't know what that's for. Um, la la la, what else we got going on here? There's your manual, okay? Window. It's a pretty car, really pretty car. So you got cup holders here. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, somebody's mask. That's nice. So sick of that crap. All right, let's see. Window, window, window. Now all this stuff's under warranty, but I might as well run it anyway. Right? That's the beauty of this thing. Mirror out, in, up, and down. The other side, out, in, up, and down. You got the seats. Forward, back, up. Down. You got this button here. Seat back forward and back. Let's see. Let me hop in this car and get some AC. It's freaking 101 today. God damn. November tw or September 24th. Mask 104. I'm about done wearing masks, by the way. So if you're a big mask fan, just turn the video off and go away. Because I'm not a fan. All right. Let's see what else we got here. La La Media. Touch it. And you have USB here. Control from the steering. Everything works in this car. And if it didn't, you could fix it. So this is what, there was a tear right here. Like right here. And we didn't fix it because we didn't think it was under bumper to bumper and they wanted like 1100 bucks so that's all brand new which is really cool now the glass doesn't open this is just a glass top on these cars with a curtain or a shade they call it that's how that works i was like trying to get the roof to work it doesn't <laughs> it's not how they work all right let's see ba -ba -ba. so you can do the air conditioning here right i guess you can touch it i don't know maybe you can't I don't know if it's touch screen or not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can touch it. 
ba, ba, ba. Let's see. What else we got here? Let me turn that down so you can hear me. The air's blowing great. Oh, how do I get the navigation to come up? I just was on the navigation. You got heated seats. Right. There's your wheel lock key, and there's another power plug. Oh, crud. How do you do that? Maybe you do it from here. Navigation. Let's see what happens. It says that. When you start it up, the map comes on. I just am really illiterate on this stuff. Crap. I suck. Media. Blah, blah, blah. Source. Let's go source. That's just all audio stuff. All right, so we got this done here. Let's go. Oh, here we go. How about map? Boom. There's your map. And you can move this thing around. See? Uh, not the smartest guy in the world. And then you hit audio down here, and you got that stuff. Right? Boom. Go back to FM. There you go. All right. Good. Taught myself at an ancient age how to work with the car I've been driving for 500 miles. I never use navigation, so it doesn't, I don't know. I've never needed it. I know where I am. All right. Uh, let's go for a ride. This thing closes, by the way, if you want it to. Uh, ba -ba. If you come to Tucson to drive this home, you will pay the following. You will pay whatever uh, your state tax rate is plus our city tax of 2.7%. By the way, this is one of those shutouts where it shuts off the motor when you stop. If you want it to go off, like I don't like that, so I like to stay running. I'll turn that off and take the green dot off and it'll stay on. Um, your state tax rate plus our city tax and a $250 dock fee if you come here to drive it home yourself, okay? Um, if you're going to pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once you receive the wire for the full price of the car, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. Uh, we will uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. You will have this car uh, shipped to you. Uh, the title will already be in the mailbox by the time the shipper shows up with the car. So when the shipper shows up with the QX, then you'll just take the QX and the title I sent you and go get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know at the beginning of the transaction. I can help. I can, we can either give you phone numbers to call, or we can do it for you. We can roll the price of shipping into the price of the car for your loan, if you need a loan. Um, or you can do the whole thing yourself. We have people like uh, Keith, that, or Kyle, well, Keith too. Kyle, Kyle in San Diego is on car number 13 or so. He's a veteran shipper now. So we used to help him, and now he just, you know, he buys a car, 10 minutes later it's paid for, and it's gone. So he knows what he's doing. Um, Keith Noble, yeah, he did him, him too. He's a professional also. Um, we have a lot of professionals. So if you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy. If you need help, let us know and we'll take care of you, okay? This is a turbo and it runs like a champion, man. I mean, it really runs good. I love this car. My daughter really wants it, but she's in high school and this is a little too nice a car for me to see all crashed and dinged up and everything. Plus, I'm driving it, actually. Actually, the reason I'm actually doing this new video is because I'm done driving and I can't put more miles on it. I don't want to get too far away on the mile so I have to surrender it I have to find a new car to drive um, but uh, yeah if this thing had 10,000 miles on it it'd probably be my driver for 10,000 miles I love this car but I want to keep it closer to the warranty numbers and make it safe um, anyway once we have an agreed upon price please get your deposit and deposit is $500 once we have that deposit we have a deal until then it will stay for sale so please get your deposit in okay um, last part of every video, I almost say, I say it on 99.9% .9 of what we buy, what we sell, because it matters, but in this case, it doesn't matter. This thing has bumper to bumper warranty for the next five months, uh, or 16,000 miles. So obviously it's five months next February and a uh, powertrain until 2023. If something breaks, go get it fixed at the dealer. It's awesome. So I don't have to tell you about how we don't, uh, we are going to buy you parts for your car if it breaks, whether regardless of the day, because I don't have to. Just take it to the Infinity dealer and, dealer and have them do it, just like they did the roof in here yesterday. All right? Anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful car. Really nice car. I'm going to miss it driving it. Um, fits nicely in my garage. I have a garage with a golf cart. My daughter's car is in there. And because it's small, it fits perfect. Now i got to find something small like that that... Uh, 
I can drive that'll fit in there. And I don't think that's gonna happen. My next video is that Honda Pilot right there. And I don't think that's small enough. I might take that little Veloster, but the Veloster is not nearly in the league of this car. And let's see, let's see I got that Corvette right there. 25,000 mile 03 Corvette. Problem with that car is it's only got 25,000 miles on it. It's even more mile sensitive. Driving that car hurts. And it's a little bit bigger than this car. I don't know if it'd fit with the, all the, with the golf cart. Is that car right there? That's a badass car too, by the way. If you're looking for a vet, a cool like, you know, museum car that you could drive on weekends, like once a, once a, you know, a month or once a week maybe, that's a cool car. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this car. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here. Cause it's small, there's still room for it right next to that van, huh? If it was a truck, I couldn't do this, but it's this car, so I can. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's got the sensors too. See that when it when I got close, and it does have a backup camera right there. So see the see how it's going off there because I'm too close to that corner. Anyway, there you go. See it. Boom. It does it all the way around the car too. Rear, rear also. All right, 